Hi, I'm Liam McCarty and I'm going to show you the science of wind resistant buildings. What's so bad about a nice breeze? Well, wind can be pleasant, but it can also be extremely dangerous. Every year, wind causes an average of $6 billion in damage through thunderstorms, hurricanes, and tornadoes. However, much of this destruction can be avoided with the help of wind engineering. Wind is basically air in motion. Now, air itself is composed of tiny particles called atoms and molecules. These particles each have a mass and therefore an ability to exert a force on another object. Now, Earlier in my video, you saw that my hair moved crazily around when I turned the fan behind me on. Now, why is this? This is because the fan pushed the particles of air towards my hair, causing them to hit it and move it. Now, this happens in buildings, too. This phenomenon can be illustrated with a ramp and some marbles. This shows how particles of air are pushed towards an object. So, how do engineers protect buildings against this phenomenon? They use aerodynamics or the study of the movement of air on objects. Now, I built this laminar flow wind tunnel with a spring system to show you in a controlled environment how engineers use different styles of roofs to make houses more wind resistant. Here, I have a gable and a hip style roof. Now, let's see what happens when I put them in the wind tunnel. This is the gable style roof on medium speed in my wind tunnel. Notice the large amount of deflection. This is the hip style roof on medium speed as well. Despite the fact that it is both the same surface area and weight, it does much better in the wind. Scientifically, the hip style roof is much more aerodynamic as it is more organic and less rectangular based. However, the gable style roof is more rectangular based and poses much resistance for the wind. Whew, that was a breeze. Thanks for watching.